Hey, long riders, YouTubers, people new here, people who've been around for a while, welcome. In this video, we're going to take you to White Deer, where we're going to be fishing a strike indicator and a tactical nymph. And I'll put the link to the tying video right there. And we're using the black one. And uh, it's really cold. But well, anyway, let's get to the creek. summer, fall, water has been very hot, so I knew my luck wasn't going to be very good, but I was enjoying being out, we haven't had very many fishing days, like I said, water has been very hot, so I was just enjoying out being fishing, it was going to be a very rough, scary day. And as I was getting bored and been fishing here for a while, I was just about ready to pack it all up and go to another hole. I'm thinking, you know, it might be down to maybe a fish per hole if I'm lucky. But it doesn't look like I'm going to have any luck here. And so I start reeling in. And what do you know? A fish. to the second hole, thinking, was I lucky at the last hole? And I looked down at my big white strike indicator, and think, am I set deep enough for the next hole? Do I have the right fly on, or is this just a really bad day where the fish aren't responsive? As we approach the next hole, I wonder. Let's see how it goes. And it was right about here when I finally realized that I had messed up. See that big white thing out there in the middle of the water? That's a strike indicator that I didn't take off. You always have to fish this low, clear water with a dropper rig. And I probably spooked the crap out of these fish that have been in here for a while. It's that big white strike indicator the first day hit the water. My big mistake. So then I decided I was tired of scaring the fish and that I would move around the other side of the tree where the water's deeper 
and a little cloudier from the higher water being up a little bit let's see how we do over there to my car as I leave this last hole I wondered to myself did I mess up by using a strike indicator or was this just luck, bad luck and every fish I did catch was on a jig fly and I'm really proud of how they work since I've been tying them I can't wait to urine them for some so all in all we had a pretty good day of fishing on the water and we didn't get skunked. Even though we only caught one per hole, all in all, it was a pretty successful day. Now, as we slowly walk back to the car, please click, like, and subscribe to our channel and check out some of these other fishing videos or tying videos. And thank you for being with us. Keep your lines wet, now the trees, and only give them fish a sore lip.